So what I was thinking we were gonna do since we're entering the 2020s is do a 1920s inspired house or mansion. It's not gonna be that big because I really wanted to build it on this lot here where Von Haunt Estate was in Windenburg. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let me turn my volume down real quick because the music is like in my ears. So <laughs> your awesome sure sounds good. Yes, great. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, hi everybody. Welcome to the stream. I feel like I, everyone popped in at once. I don't know how to like read everyone off. Hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like such a dork. Okay. Welcome everyone. I'm gonna try and from now on from everything that pops up, like actually address everyone by name. It's just all of a sudden there's 60 people here. So hi, Diamond Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh. Remember to tweet your live. Thank you, Chrissy. Oh my goodness. Uh, I haven't streamed in a year and a half, so bear with me, guys. <laughs> uh, I posted a video on my YouTube channel to say that I was live, but I did not tweet about it. I should probably do that. All right. Uh, let's tweet real quick. Hi, I'm live on Twitch. <laughs> Come join. That's all caps, definitely all caps. All right, that is tweeted. It's kind of obnoxious. I spelled Twitch wrong. I completely spelled Twitch wrong. Hold on. Hi, I'm that twitch.tv. I cannot type today. I think I'm a little too excited. Okay, let's see if I spelled that right. Twitch.tv slash Miss Griffey. Yes. All right. There we go. <laughs> Back in business. Oh, you're so cute. Can I stand, Tanya? Oh my God. I feel like we're dogs in a shelter and you came to pick one and we're all so happy and s that you're saying hi to us. Some hearts for, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss this up? Did I miss this up? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Gabrielle. I think that popped up on screen, but I forgot to add audio to this. I wanted to ask you guys for feedback on that as well, like what emotes we would like to get and like sound effects and different stuff for different things. But thank you so very much for subscribing. That's crazy. Thank you so much. I'm very, very excited. I, I feel like I'm just going to keep repeating that, <laughs> um, but I would love feedback during the stream, after the stream, what kind of like emotes and stuff you guys want to get uh, on this because I do want to make streaming a regular thing. Uh, I definitely miss it and it's something, it's part of my goals for 2020 to work it back into my life because it's so much fun interacting with you guys. It's gonna be so good. How are you doing? I'm pretty good today. How are you? Oh, love the retro Sims music. Yes, I absolutely adore putting on um, Sims 2 music in my uh, live streams. I don't know, it's just so relaxing and nostalgic for me and I'm just like, there's a couple of songs in here that I will probably get a little too excited for uh i want to nominate that we should get a butterfly emote for twitch too like we have in discord oh yes we could yes we could that was great <laughs> um am i able to or are you able to chrissy grab the discord invite link for anyone that's not in the discord that would be cool um pogged on your streams Oh my gosh, my hair is in my face. Okay, so we should probably actually build something. That's kind of what this is, but I also really just want to chat with you guys. So I'm going to look up some 1920s inspired mansions. I mean, it doesn't have to be super styled, but I do want to build kind of more an old school, larger house right here and have it all decked out for New Year's Eve. So let's look up some inspiration on my other monitor and see what I can find here that could look cool. I mean, I kind of just want it to look like I feel like a lot of modern day houses were built that time. Not modern day, but like houses I see in real life were built in the 30s or the 20s. So I guess it doesn't have to be a particular style. We'll just furnish it as if it were from the 20s and make it look really cool. I kind of want it to have like lots of staircases outside, like multiple layers, lots of bedrooms, like big place. Oh, I feel like I'm missing so much stuff. Hi, friends. Hi, Steph Crank and... Um, Everybody else, great Gatsby style. Can you describe 2019 in one word? Roller coaster. Yeah, 2019 has been a wild ride for me. <laughs> I love your speed builds. Oh, thank you so much, Alex. 
Oh, yeah, me too. I, I used to stream a lot on Twitch and over on YouTube as well, but life happened and now we're trying to we're trying to come back now. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, oh, you did add the Discord link. Thank you so much for that, Chrissy. Uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more active on there. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna ramble. We've been alive for 11 minutes and we haven't started building. There's one house I'm kind of looking at that I think could be a fun foundation. And I also really want it to look nice from the back because we have this beautiful garden out back. So I want it to kind of complement that. Oh, thank you so much, Ashley. You're so sweet. Have any plans for New Year's Eve? Me and my boyfriend are staying in and playing card games and board games. I kind of want to pick up something for the Switch, like a new game to play, but I haven't made a decision on that, so I might go grab something at GameStop later on. And uh, yeah, just chill night in playing video games. It should be fun and board games. I'm new to the community, but I already like it here very much. Thank you for that. Oh, hi, Miriam. Welcome. What are we building? We... <laughs> Obviously, we're building so much right now by this blank screen. I'm doing a great job at building. Uh, we're gonna be building uh, a 1920s inspired house or larger mansion-ish home uh, decorated for New Year's Eve. And I am attempting to get started. <laughs> I just keep wanting to read chat and I don't wanna miss anything. And thank you everybody for the follows. I'm a little overwhelmed by this stream. I was not expecting so many people. Oh my gosh. 2019 is crazy for me too. Well, for one, I had to come out to my best friend, which was really hard, but um, videos really helped me. That's awesome. I'm I'm glad that that you got that out. It's a really important thing. Um, so much love to you. Um, thanks for all your builds. The only ones I use in my game. Oh, that's so sweet. What did you pick for the fan vote stuff pack? I believe I picked DIY Delight because I really liked it. It was really cute. I, I'm honestly so fine with any of them. I think they are all awesome. I'm on board for the granny stuff pack. I'm on board for like cutesy pink stuff. I'm on board for like crafty, whatever. <laughs> We're getting a knitting stuff pack and I am pumped. Um, recommendation for fun game you would love. A hat in time is on Switch and it's very reminiscent of 3D platformers like Mario 64, Banjo, Kazooie, and Sunshine. Noted, I will look into that later. Uh, it's hard to come out, but once you do uncomfortable with it, it's so rewarding. I agree. Um, that's awesome. I'm so excited for the build. I just want to say you're really pretty. Also, I love your builds. You guys are too nice and distracting. Like, <laughs> I do not know how to work on things. Okay. I'm going to, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to, for the next two minutes, not look at the chat so I can start on something so we can, we can actually be productive. Um, I'm just a little bit too excited and nervous and then I just start talking and word vomiting at you guys so we're just gonna get going so I have an inspiration picture that I like it's brick and it has a little bit of white siding kind of like the siding from um, what's it called from get together I don't know if that makes sense I don't know if you know what I'm talking about like the like the Tudor style wallpaper I don't know why those hand gestures, I thought those were going to be helpful in some way, shape, or form, and they definitely were not. All right, so let's just get a large block to work off of. I feel like what, having people watch me is making me like, oh, I'm gonna fail, it's gonna come out horribly, but that's okay. We'll figure it out in the end, hopefully. All right, so I kinda want a box like right here. I'm just gonna look at a picture for inspiration to get started, and then we'll just kinda wing it and do our own thing. I love doing builds that way. I think it's the best way for me to get some inspiration, but not flat out copy something. So maybe do something like this. Yeah, that's a good start. <laughs> totally, it totally looks like a build right now. All right, um, I want brick stairs. I want them to be like too wide and like, Hmm. Maybe like this. Yeah, I think like that is what we want. And let's raise this up. There it is. Yeah, something like that I think is what we're looking for, except maybe we will move these back over. 
and then we can have like a bump out that comes out from there to I'm just gonna place this over here and size it to the way I'm thinking would work really well. Um, let's place it here and just copy it. Um, I'm gonna have to put it like this and size it up to the right height. Duplicate that. That there. Cool. And then if we drag that inward like that, something like that could work to start. I know it doesn't really look like a house yet, but we're working on it. Oh my goodness. Just build woman. Don't worry too much about the chat. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what these highlight message things are. I those are obviously new things to the um, to Twitch. I, I remember getting the emails about them. What's up, Tanya? So happy you're streaming again. I'm an OG stream viewer and I'm so happy you're back. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to the stream. Um, can you think you could turn down the music a little bit? Yes, definitely. Let me know if that's better. It's nice to see you streaming. People use them to get your attention. Oh, that makes sense. Um, this is why I admire people who build anything that isn't a squish. I can't imagine how things will come together in the end. It's so interesting to watch. Also comforting. I'm already getting frustrated at that stage because I wouldn't know where to take it. Oh. Um, okay, cool. So we'll keep going from here. Let's try and stay on task, Tanya. You can do this. All right, I think I want to use windows from Get Famous. Um, like, I really like these in the white. I don't, I don't know what it is about them, but I think they are so pretty, but they don't fit in the middle there. So I'm gonna have to use this one. Maybe something like that could work. Yeah, we'll do that. And then this is just my jumping off point, I think. I'm not really going to follow this anymore. Oh, I'm on the wrong floor. That explains things. I do that so much. Let's get rid of that wall. Perfect. Let's do something like this. Yeah. And then maybe like a little door off to the side here. Like just a little entrance. It could be with an archway into the entrance. And then we can put the actual door within that. I like doing that kind of thing. Yeah. There's gonna be like a huge deck space up here. I might even put a pool up here somewhere. I think that could work pretty nicely. Um, kind of thinking maybe doing some sort of like, oh, probably not on this tool, on this one. Maybe some sort of um, shaped room like this could be nice off on that side yeah I think that could work let's just close that off like that for a second it's totally not a room uh, wait I not to it oh no oh no 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 this struggle in the sims 4 is real with things just being like I refuse to be a room and I'm like okay well I'm not sure what to do about that <laughs> this isn't a room either is it Oh, that, that one is a room. Oh, this one is, it just doesn't have a ceiling. That's why. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> um, can we see the picture you're looking at? I just like Googled, let me see. I Googled, I think 1920s mansion and I clicked on one of them just to get a little bit of inspiration, but I'm not looking at it anymore. Um, so I, I just like a jumping off point really. Building something for New Year's Eve. Um, I like that you don't stick to one style of build. Like, yes, you are the queen of squishes, but you don't stick to that. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I've gotten a lot of comments lately like, enough of the squish. And I'm like, I haven't uploaded one in a while, so I don't know where that's coming from, but I have some ideas and I'm very excited to do some more squishy builds. And there probably will be some over the next couple of weeks since I am pre-recording for a Disney trip. Smaller builds are definitely quicker and I have more fun with them usually, so. Uh, this is a perfect lot for this build. I agree. I'm very excited about it. Hi, Tanya. So excited to see you streaming. Hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. 
Um, what? Squishes are the best. I'm glad you like them. Sonia, yeah, Sonia might be taking over a little bit today. I mean, I don't know what this thing is, so I guess we will see what happens. So I think like a bump out over there works, and then maybe something, maybe not right there. Let's do it a little further back. Maybe like the house comes out over on that side. Yeah, I could see that kind of working. Yeah, and that's plenty of like deck space to have parties on. Hmm. Let's do something like this. Yeah. And I think for the time being, we'll just add another box over here to fill that out and go from there. So we need to, that's the back of the house, which I think is gonna look really cool and have lots of party space. But we want the front of the house to look cool as well. But maybe I should also add parts that I'd like to have um, in the back. Do I want that full length like that or do I want it to bump inward so we can have some roof there? Thinking maybe some roof, but we shall see. But then that makes that flush with that. Okay, we're gonna keep that bumped out for now. I think I don't want anything here, but I do kind of want to have this on a second floor. Yeah, that works. Push this back. Just kind of do our own thing over here. Uh, add this bit to round that off on the front. And then we need a like grand, gorgeous entryway to this house, but I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that. Hmm. Uh, hi Tanya, so happy to catch you streaming. Oh, thank you, welcome aboard. Uh, how are you going to roof this? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, I actually really, really love roofing. I think I've talked about that in videos before, so I'm excited to figure out the roofing for this. Um, I love your squish builds, but all your builds are amazing. Thank you, have fun at Disney. Oh, thank you so much. I haven't been to Disney World before, so I'm really excited about it. I haven't played The Sims for a while, and now I really wanna start building again myself. I just haven't really felt like myself lately. Might wanna just build something tiny tomorrow to end the year on a high note. Watching your build is always the biggest inspiration for me. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, building can be so relaxing. It's a nice way to spend a day, in my opinion. All right, so back. I have no idea what I want the front to look like. What is a nice grand entrance for this kind of house? I also just remembered I wanted to record this and I didn't press record. Well, if you guys watch the speed build, <laughs> it this part will already be done at this point, um, but uh, the rest of it will not. It, it's gonna start from this point. I forgot to do that. Uh, <laughs> I was too distracted by, we're streaming right now. All right, so front of this house. I kind of maybe, maybe like some kind of big bump out in the front like this could look nice. Ooh, I kind of want like a, maybe like a fence in the front here to make it look all kinds of fancy. Let's do another bump out like that. Yeah, I could see that working. I don't know if you guys can see this vision I have or not, or if it just looks ridiculous. Fine with me either way. I think experimenting is my favorite thing in the game, so. Uh, I'm gonna do... Something like this. Yeah. Like that maybe? Could work. We need like a nice grand staircase over here though. I think this is gonna be the kind of house that I like from the back better anyway, but that's okay. Ooh, I just hit my microphone. I am so sorry. Hmm, maybe something like that for the stairs could work. What do we think of that for the steps? This already looks ridiculous and it's gonna be so difficult to furnish. I'm not even worried about the roofing. I'm just worried about furnishing this. 
Yikes. Okay. Maybe I do this and then I can get rid of this a little bit. I didn't really want to get rid of the flooring there though. Oh well, I think it works. Is this gonna be a Victorian mansion? I hope so. Um, it's kind of supposed to be something, we're gonna decorate it as if it were the 1920s since we're entering into the 2020s for New Year's Eve. I thought that would be kind of fun. That's a really high foundation. Yes, it is. It's gonna be, um, that's what we're building. But would make a beautiful entryway, right? Uh, what about archways that we got with the one update, the stair update? Oh yeah, we could use those. I'm not good at it, but fun figuring it out. Um, watching building is rather relaxing too. I keep going like this because my mic arm that's holding my mic up is like crossing the screen where the chat is. Um, this is so cool. How long will you be streaming? I'm not exactly sure. I'm kind of aiming for two hours, but we'll see how it goes. If it's shorter or longer than that. We're just gonna play it by ear. All right, so we need a two or four wide door. Uh, but I feel like most of the really nice fancy ones are not that size. Um, but somebody had mentioned using these archways, which could look very nice. We could have like two of those out front, maybe? Or one in the center here. Oh, we have three across. That's fancy. Okay. I'm going to start with that. And let's add some sort of fence up here. I don't think I'm going to use this one, but I just want to add a fence to get started with. Yeah. Maybe some kind of trim on the bottom as well. That's a good start, I think. Hi, all of your videos. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome, everyone that just popped in. Um, greetings from Germany. Hi. I built a mansion the other day and it went great. The outside was really nice and I was happy with the direction until I got to the second floor. No floor plans seemed to work and that's why I stick to tiny houses. I can definitely relate. Large houses are a lot. Hey there, this is going to be a beast to furnish. Yeah, it is, but I think it might be fun. So hopefully it comes out all right. All right, we don't need this little bit of floor back here anymore. I think we're gonna try and uh, start roofing this. Do you think 2020 is going to be a great year for The Sims? I mean, we're getting knitting, so maybe. I I'm excited to see what we get in 2020 for sure. Very curious as to what we'll end up with since all of the like prime uh, requests have been taken care of with like seasons, cats and dogs, university, like all of them we already have. So I'm not really sure what they might give us next. But it should be a good time trying to figure that out and see what we get. Hopefully this roofing comes out okay, because it could come out really wonky, but we'll see. So far, it's not awful, but I, I, I don't like it. Let's drag this out. Maybe make this one a little bit bigger here. Then this one can fit into that a little bit better. Oh, thank you so much for the bits! Uh, Newt 1998, thank you so much. I'm sorry I already used my Prime sub, but I wanted to give you some bits. Oh, that's so sweet. You don't need to do that anyway. Roofs are the worst. How do you manage to make them look pretty? I don't know. I just really like roofs. Thank you so much. Um, hello from the U.S. Hello also from the U.S. Oh my gosh. Thank you everyone for popping in. All right. Let's see. Do I want this just to go on that side like that and not connect over on that side? I have no idea. Hi from Spain, hello. How often do you think you'll stream? Um, I mean, I'm traveling in a couple of weeks, but after that, I'm hoping two to three times a week once I um, figure that out. Hello from CAT, hello. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the subscriptions. Um, trip. PC and Madden Chan. Thank you guys so very much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
guys, you really need to give me feedback, 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 uh, feedback on what kind of emotes and stuff you guys would like to have. I think roofing is literally just trial and error. I agree. It really is. I think it's so fun though. I don't know. I, I guess that's just the puzzle maker in me. That's just like, I like puzzles. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Hi from Wales. Hi. Welcome, welcome. You are so adorable. Oh, thank you. All right. Let's see what roofing we can do down here. I was kind of thinking like one of these roofs, but maybe just on the slant would be kind of cool. I don't mind that. What do we think of that? I kind of want to extend the eaves on all of these though. Let's do that. Bunny emotes, yes. I basically just slam on some roofing pieces and drag them all over the place until they look decent. Maybe an emoji, you could do one of your pets. Maybe. This music still goes so hard, I agree. Oh my god. I love this music so much. Alright. I don't know, how are, how are we feeling about what this looks like? I haven't really decided what I think of it yet. Actually, I don't want to grab that roof piece. I'd like to get a half-hipped roof and put that here. Drag that across. Yeah, that could work. What are you building? I'm late to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're building like a large home slash sort of mansion for that's gonna be decorated for new year's eve that's 1920s inspired uh so glad you decided to start streaming again i never saw your streams from before but still no worries thank you so much for being here um ooh, that adorable squish emote we have on the discord server yeah we can do that for sure because i'm sure at some point we'll do some squish builds on here as well I would love to do like a squish stream. That'd be so much fun. I'm getting Spanish vibes from the roof. Hmm, that's cool. I mean, we're just kind of winging it and we're gonna see what happens. I'm kind of going for like a 1920s thing, but it might not end up being that in the end and that's totally fine. Cause I'm not really good at <laughs> sticking to a style. Uh, I just kind of figure it out as I go. And whatever happens, happens. drag down the eaves on this it matches I don't know let me know what you guys think hi from my lunch break how often do you play the sims too much probably every day how can you do it squish stream would be in squish time short I've missed your streams oh thank you so much for being here I think this section is like too narrow that's why I'm having trouble roofing it Maybe if we pull this out to here on both top and bottom, that might help a little bit with roofing this beast. Yeah, we're gonna try that. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Use this roof piece to tuck this in to this roof. Oh, it's, okay, I see the problem. It's too tall to tuck it into this one. That's frustrating. Goes over the top. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem roof for sure. Is the music a little loud? I, I mean, I can turn it down again. I've turned it down a couple of different times. Um, looks really good so far. Thank you building a chunk <laughs> yeah it's, it's kind of a it's a big one that I don't know how to roof 
I feel like it's should be taller though. It's a little too short for how grand it's supposed to be. So maybe we should do that. Really don't know how to roof this. I'm getting stressed out. I don't like it. Let's get rid of this part. I think what we have right now is okay. We just gotta figure out how to make it work. Hmm. Maybe put one of these in here as a little bit of extra decoration. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going for. That's just kind of how most of my builds go though. Just figure it out as I go. Just add our move objects cheat. I'm getting stressed out just looking at it. Oh no, that's not good. I never use these base game windows, they're kind of cute. Maybe something like that. so pointy. I don't want it to be pointy. <clears throat> My voice totally cracked just then. Um, I tried to do some funky roofing the other day. Ended up rage quitting the game. Can definitely relate. Uh, we're building something for New Year's Eve. It's supposed to be 1920s theme. Yes, I like clock tower idea. Ooh, that could be nice. Okay. Let's, let's see what we can do with the roof first, and then we'll figure out a clock tower idea. <laughs> I hate how this roofing is coming out. I really like roofing. I'm just having such a struggle with this. All right, I think we need to alter the shape a little bit more in order to get this to work the way I'd like to. Maybe this needs to be all the way this way. And then maybe if this comes out this way, it won't be quite as pointy. Still rather pointy. Hmm. We just have it with, if it, uh, if only it could like, the side of the house is just too boxy. That's the problem I'm encountering right now. drag this this way make this bump out a little bit more so it's flush with this roof potentially so we have that going on but then we have this weird thing in the middle I guess that doesn't have to be there it's fine um, so maybe if we grab one of these just drag it in like this. It's a little bit too tall. Why does it gotta be too tall? Okay, I don't know how to put that part of the roof on, but the other parts are looking okay so far. I don't hate them, so I mean, there's that. If you feel like it's too boxy, maybe add some balconies. I'm planning on doing that for sure. Um. Maybe like a glass roof right there. Maybe? I feel like I don't know how to build large things because they end up looking like boxes like this. <laughs> I just, I like building small things, but I thought this would be a fun idea. But if it doesn't come out and we all think it looks awful, you guys can always be like, actually, can you build this other idea for New Year's Eve? And I'll be like, yeah, let's do that instead. And I will do that. Oh, I just really want to upload something cool for New Year's Eve. So hopefully it pans out and doesn't look completely awful in the end. I think the back is going to look so much better than the front though. 
even though currently I have no idea how to make it look right in the back or anywhere for that matter. It's still too boxy. I think maybe we need another little bump out right here. Yeah. That's what that could be. It's a little bit better, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like maybe we should use not base game windows. Try and make them look a little bit more interesting. Ooh, these ones could be fun. I want it to look pretty fancy schmancy, so. Ooh, maybe even some Get Famous windows. I never use these. I don't know which one's better for the top. The Get Famous one or this square one. I think these are a little bit more fancy, but I like them both. Maybe try making the same build, like the theme of it, but a tiny format. Maybe it could be cute and a lot easier. Maybe. Uh, I like the houses back and then had dark frame windows. A cute cluttered with post party mess. Tiny house would be adorable for New Year's. Oh, that sounds adorable. I didn't even think about doing something for New Year's Eve. I would totally flip this house around and make the back the front. Wait, is this the front of the house or the back? This is the back. I wanted the back to be facing, to be really cool and have all this party area facing this gorgeous backyard and like hedge maze and stuff. So that's kind of uh, the vibe we were going for there. The square ones could be for the greenhouse, get famous one, get famous works better. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. So I'm glad you guys agree. All right, if we drag this in a little bit here, that'll look better there. And then we can have a bump out over here to kind of break up where that um, piece is. So it doesn't look like it's just floating there out of nowhere. Okay, progress. Progress, progress. I mean, this could be in a little bit more. And then the balcony can be halfway like on the bottom floor and halfway suspended over. Or it can just be entirely on top of the floor. Yeah, let's try that. Let's move this back. And then move this back. And then do that. I mean, I think that's helping a bit. Yeah, okay. This looks so funny clipping in there. Uh, how should we get this underway? Um, part of the issue is this room is causing there to be an extra bit to be roofed that we don't want to roof. So let's get rid of that and place this up here. Let's try doing this again and raising it down or lowering it raising it down that made a whole lot of sense no that does not work at all um i love to see a 1920s themed episode of the squish oh that'd be really cute um plus the get famous ones have a three tile and a two tile version so they're more versatile Ooh, what are you building? We're gonna build like a fancy place for New Year's Eve. Uh, kind of inspired by the 1920s with the furnishing and a little bit the build style as well. So I really wanted to place it on this lot here in Windenburg that is meant for Von Hunt Estate. Um, I don't know why I had to say it in that voice, Von Hunt. But um, yeah, that's what we're building. I'm pretty happy with it so far, sort of. The roofing is kind of frustrating, but we're working on it. It's getting there, maybe. Okay, maybe this weird roofing spot we can do like another thingy mabob up here. That makes so much sense. All right, um, something like this room. Obviously, it's the weirdest shape. Let's just get rid of some of these walls. There we go. And then we should be able to even get another one, make that nice and high up there. No, that's too high up. But if we just do this, that could potentially work and maybe like a smaller version of it on top. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm just like testing stuff out. Just a little square up top. I feel like this is what I did with the, um, the Magic Realm school that I built. It's kind of interesting. Uh, happy lurking. I'm just going to lurk while I clean. Hope you don't mind. That's totally fine. Would you consider occasionally doing squish builds with custom content packs in 2020? Uh, it's not something I plan on doing, but I'm not 100% against it as long as it wasn't like a normal thing. Um, maybe raise the wall height of the turret room. That is a great idea. I don't know why I didn't even think of that. I think that helps. Let me see the medium wall height actually. Yeah, I think that works. I think that makes it look a little bit better. Um, play with chimneys, definitely. I want to have a bunch of chimneys all over this place. Uh, working and lurking equals working. Yeah, I do that a lot of work. I love lurking on streams and watching videos and stuff um, while I get stuff done. Uh, I think that should be like a window of some sort, but we could have like some chimneys going on towards this side. So let's, let's start with that. Maybe single tile ones. That one's a little bit much. And some of the like fancy roof pieces could work nicely as well. I don't know which ones I want to use yet. That's why I'm, I'm working with these ones for the moment. Who started playing The Sims with The Sims 2 out of curiosity? Okay, that looks a little bit too busy over here, maybe. That looks cool. Work, work, work. <laughs> uh, is this your first stream in a while? I've only ever seen you on YouTube. Yeah, I haven't streamed since May 2018. So, first stream in a while. Um, oh, you're getting better at building, that's amazing. Um, you got into The Sims 1 afterwards in 2007, I was 12. I started with The Sims 1, that's awesome. I actually, I, I started with The Sims 2 on console. Um, randomly. Oh no, I got rid of the flu. Sorry for the weird voices. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let's get rid of this one. The back is so much cooler than the front and it's just gonna, it's just gonna have to be that way, I think. Because it looks way cooler back here and I don't wanna make it look less cool. Yeah, cool. Um, tell your cat cookie I said hi. I'm also a TS1 baby. Hey, hi, welcome to the stream. I played two and three on console, started with watching my mom play Sims 1 on computer, and then played either Sims 2 or Sims Bust now on PS2. Maybe rotate the house so the back is now the front. I really want the back to be the most interesting part of the house to face this area, because this is the whole party area, and I'll probably end up taking a screenshot from the back of the house anyway. Oh, I should probably save. I haven't saved in a while. Well, I keep hitting my microphone. Um, what are we building? We're building something for New Year's Eve, like a big house to party in that is kind of inspired by the 1920s since we're entering the 2020s now. I saw my sister playing The Sims 2 when I was little. And I was like, when is it going to be my turn? Oh, technically started with Sims City, but when The Sims 1 came out, I converted to The Sims. Um, but my mom still plays The Sims City. That's actually so cool. All right, let us see. Uh, I don't know what to do with this house. Maybe this was too big of a project for the first stream back. Might have, you know, bit off a little bit more than I could chew on this, but we're gonna try and make it work still. It's just that the back is gonna be the star of the show. I think it's the problem in the front is I don't like symmetry and I started going for it for some reason. And here we are, so. 
I think we're just gonna have to nip that right now and get rid of the symmetrical vibe of the front of the house and that might save it, hopefully. Uh, so let's grab one of these roof pieces. Do something like this. I think this is gonna help for sure. I actually kind of want to do a roof piece so it makes it look like this is connecting downward from that roof. If we can configure it properly. Does it need to be longer? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do that. For a part of this, if possible. We'll see how it comes out. Maybe. Mm, no, that doesn't work. I like doing that sometimes with builds though. I'm trying to figure out what we should do here. Maybe we should have another little bump out over here. I could see that working, but like kind of a, a deeper one, like that kind of shape on the front. I think that's adding some more visual interest for sure. But let me know what you guys think. I think having the back super fancy is a cool idea. Never too big, never too small. I actually really like the front. This room made me super happy. Oh, that's awesome. Can you please share the cell so we can try and furnish this too? It's gonna be quite a challenge. Yeah, I can do that. Um, Cause I, I'm pretty sure we're only gonna get to the outside of this during this stream anyway, even if, if we even finish the outside that is. Um, all right. I think that feeling is terrifying. What did I, what did I miss? I started with The Sims 3 on console and The Sims 4 on console, and I also play The Sims 3 on my computer. Sims 3 on the computer is awesome. I love The Sims 3. That was the first one I got super addicted to, uh, even though The Sims 2 was my first one. Uh, let's pull this out. That's flush there. Okay, I'm starting to actually really like the front. The back is a little bit more complicated, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It could be though. Uh, I guess we'll just see what happens and hope for the best. Um, maybe like a fancier brick on the bottom. Could be quite nice. I wish we had like this matching stone. We don't, we have stones though, but then that doesn't go with the, these steps, but we can change the steps. So I think we're gonna do that to like a white step or these stone ones. Let's do the stone ones and then just change the wallpaper on the side to be some sort of stone. Or yeah, let's let's try that. Do we have the one from Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Yeah, I think that's looking cute. Um Yes, it will definitely be on the gallery. these cool 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 I keep forgetting to record this I am so bad at streaming at the same time it's gonna be a messy build to show off <laughs> all right what is a cool door for upstairs Not that, that's for sure. Um, what came with Get Famous for doors? Okay. Do like really fancy doors. A plain white one probably. Oh, I keep hitting my mic, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it, maybe move it up a little bit so maybe it doesn't get in my way. Uh, gallery is coming to console sometime early next year, they said. I don't know exact dates. Uh, I'm kind of in love with the shape of this house. I wish I had your talent. Oh, thank you so much. Um, all right, cool. Starting to not like this part. Let me get rid of that. And then I took it away and I'm kind of missing it. I don't know what I want to do up there. We'll figure it out though.
Which pack are those rocks? I believe those are from Get Together. Yeah. I don't wanna use entirely these windows, but I feel like they work really well for what I'm going for. So we're gonna use a decent amount of them. So many of the same window. It's a little much. What can we use to break it up? I feel like this window could be really cool somewhere. Ooh, I kind of like it there. I like random circle windows on places for some reason. I just like sticking them around. Plus these all have the curve on the top, which helps with using these. Cool. I think next step would be let's change the roof because I do not like the current one we have. I feel like it just definitely needs to be a darker color. Maybe that one. I feel, I'm not really feeling that one though. Maybe these bigger ones. it still needs to be gray it just couldn't be the one it starts with so maybe that I could kind of see this working yeah something about this seems like really expensive and that's definitely what I'm going for I kind of want to use like that chunky one on this but I'm not sure because I feel like sometimes with the like more fancy and over-the-top houses it just gives it that little bit of extra being extra it needs and I kind of like that so I'm kind of thinking we might go with that um it's so big you're doing a good job it looks really fancy oh thank you uh, it looks like the kind of house that would have a f ballroom but like a Bojack Horseman style ballroom with a ball pit scaled up oh my gosh oh time to they already wishing you a great new year's eve happy 2020 oh my god I cannot talk thank you so much hello welcome aboard everybody love the windows great shape for the house hi I haven't seen you live in so long yet it's been a really long time since I was last live streaming uh, but it's good to be back I'm, I'm really enjoying myself I'm excited to get back into streaming this year okay I think we need to save again I think I'm gonna just not stop recording this build anymore because I keep forgetting to start recording again afterwards so I think we're gonna I really want to use these trees over here, but they are in the show live edit objects menu. I'd like debug, please. Thank you. And I think they are from get together. Of course, I scrolled right past it. I actually really love a lot of the show live edit objects plants from get together. I use them quite a bit. It's not the one I was looking for, but that one's nice. So what I'm looking for even in here. Bam, bam, bam. That's kind of cute. Why did you choose Twitch over YouTube streams? I really like the community over on Twitch and I've streamed here before and I really enjoy it. And I kind of like keeping the two separate. Yeah, this is the only one I'm finding. I know that other one exists, but it might just not be from Get Together. It's probably just in here somewhere because I've used it before. Scroll through all of these plants and attempt to find the bush we are looking for. Uh, there's so many plants in here. And so many other things too, like temple gates. I don't remember where it is. Oh, that's cool. question when using debug and placing the pear tree apple trees etc it always makes a ceiling when I place it am I doing something wrong I'm confused 
Uh, mine does that too. Uh, I don't know how you would do it otherwise. Um, that's kind of frustrating though, I agree. That it doesn't like place down the fully formed tree. It, it tricks you. It's like, look, you have a pretty tree. And as soon as you place it, it's like, psych, it's a seed. Um, <laughs> uh, that's kind of frustrating. All right, I know I had to have scrolled past this because I just scrolled through absolutely everything and I did not find the bush I was looking for. Watch it be like from base game or something. It's possible. I just don't know what it's from. Oh wait, it is from base game. Forest spruce tree, found it. All right, that's what I wanted. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these cause you can't like continue placing these and you can't grab them by duplicating them. Like you can't, I dropped them cause they're from this menu. So I'm just gonna grab a ton of them and place them on the lot so that I have more than enough to go ahead and put them wherever I want to. Uh, cause this lot's lined with them, so I feel like putting a few throughout would look nice. So maybe like one tucked over here. In front, I think, I think I want one like here-ish. Oh wait, this is the wrong bush. <laughs> I totally knew that. Actually, would it look nice to have this, ex this porch extend out over here? I think I kind of want that to be a little bit bigger. We can put one of these over here. Maybe scale it down. Put it over here. Yeah. Want one over here. Let's just paint all of this. Yeah, I think that looks good. Uh, I wish there was a way to filter debug. Yeah, other than by pack, you can't really, and that's kind of infuriating. Um, yeah, you can get rooms of full grown plants on uh, the gallery as well. Are you keeping the builds while? Oh, white? No, I just, I, I don't know what color it's gonna be yet. I just haven't gotten to that. So we'll see what happens. I think we'll put one of these over here and then that's probably good for these trees delete a couple of them yeah I kind of want to use hmm I think they're from backyard stuff maybe I don't actually remember I was just going through all these packs last night starting to look at them because I want to do a rankings video on what things I think work really well. Or maybe it's romantic garden. No. Uh, what I think works really well for building. And there's a lot of items I just don't use. Yeah, I think these things, like lining some of this, would look kind of nice and fancy. Hmm. Let's grab this one. Oh, that's way bigger than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. That works fine for right here. we go. Not lined up perfectly, but I'll fix it. I don't know if I hate that or not. I think I might hate it, but it could be just because of the white on the bottom. Let's try it with like a dark color. Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, oh yeah, I would love it if they added the ability to duplicate debug items. Um, do you think The Sims keeps track of the most used items in game? Maybe. That's such a great video idea. I feel like when people do rankings, they mostly focus on gameplay, which is fine, but for someone who's n new the building used to building base game it would be really good to know which packs have the best built by objects yeah for sure um oh my 12 year old abby or 12 year old daughter abby is a big fan too i love that we can play together that's awesome maybe ivy up the foundation yeah i was kind of thinking that i was just thinking this might look a little bit more structured 
but I'm not really digging how it looks. So I think we'll try some ivy. Hmm. Also, it snaps upward, which is an issue. Um, like otherwise it's floating in front of it. So I'm not sure if ivy is gonna be our option. There's ways to go around that, but they're kind of tedious. So I'm kind of thinking I'm not gonna do that, but we'll see. I think there's gonna be a pool up here. So let's let's add in our pool. pull this into we don't need that extra bit over there then this tree can go further in I think that looks pretty cool uh, pretty good for a pool area maybe I uh, the ones from the uni pack instead I can try those They're still gonna snap upward though. Yeah. I love this ivy though. Some of it might look good just on the other parts of the build. Cause it's so pretty. Instead of over there, we'll do it over here. That's kind of pretty. Uh, didn't the university pack come with some really nice, like, golden color brick that might be nice for the walls of the build? Oh, I can see that. Now I get why the foundation was so tall. <laughs> um, I didn't even know we had these new ivy objects. They're stunning. Yeah, it's so pretty, but it's in show live edit objects so it's not easily grabbable but it's super pretty what is this oh that's the statue from foxbury okay um what are you crazy university items um there's more flags out there but we can add even bigger ones right in front of the house uh, I think some kind of like fancy, like this is the beginning of a driveway. Maybe we continue that around here and we have cars parked on it. If we have even a remotely similar um, terrain paint, that would be good. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna, with the strong brush, kind of do that and then we'll go from there. We'll fix it up and just kind of something like that oh yeah overwhelmed by debug that's such <laughs> so realistic yeah Ooh, I think we could probably do both like in the driveway maybe right here do like a fancy pond or fountain of some sort that could be nice but I think like having some fancy cars in this driveway I really like the idea of that look like it was drawing yeah something like that could look kind of cool 
Uh, yeah, I'm building in Windenburg. Horses and farming? What about horse and farming? A fancy carport? I feel like that doesn't quite fit this house, but I do want to have like cars parked out here. But we'll see what we have room for and what sounds good. do with these steps. Ooh, that could be an idea. Hold on. some kind of like grand entryway here. I just don't know what. I think we're gonna end up doing something like this. Yeah, I think that's gonna be our entryway, which I'm fine with. Um... Have them branch off on each side. I think that's what I just did. Yeah, like that. Perfect. <laughs> I bet the snootiest people in the world live there. Maybe try the stairs with a foundation under them. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. I wish this didn't have the bit in the middle there. But yeah, I feel like they need to be more like this. I love that we have configurable stairs, but they are also very infuriating to work with. There we go. Let's try these. I think that works pretty well. I like that. What do you guys think of that one? Double stairs might be too thick, but they would look very fancy. Yeah, the double stairs looked kind of wonky. That's why I didn't use them. And I thought having it over to either side like this would look cool. Why can't I grab the fence? Nothing here can be cloned. Okay. Great. Um, it's this one. Very fancy. Cool. Let's save again. Very nice. It's beautiful. Thank you guys. You should stack rocks and greenery underneath the stairs. Yeah? I mean, I do kind of want to put some like rocks around here to make it look a little bit more fancy. I'm not sure if I'm making this at all 1920s inspired, but I feel like we can decorate it that way. And these windows kind of give me that vibe anyway. So I think we're good. Super fancy. It's beautiful. Thank you guys. A nice, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the back. I'm trying to decide if I think I want to lower the foundation just a tad. Maybe like that. Or did we like the higher foundation? I don't know. It does look really grand on the high foundation though, so maybe we'll leave it. Let's fix this roofing over here that we started to add some more bump outs on this side. And I think we need more. I think maybe like a grand chimney area over here. Like a Big guy. Hmm. Maybe something like this for 
chimney. That could work. Hmm. Maybe not, actually. If we drag this out a little further. We can have... Let's duplicate this. that and then we can add just a little oh, why is the rope doing that look at the trim i have that issue sometimes which is really frustrating okay never mind we'll just leave it um i do kind of want to add more to this side though because it's a little bit boring so maybe something here i guess this could just drag forward I don't like how that looks. Oh, Nicole, baby, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome, welcome. Sims 2 had the best soundtrack. I agree. Um, how are you doing? I'm glad I can catch this stream even though I'm an hour late. No worries, I'm glad you could be here too. Yes, yeah, it's been an hour and 17 minutes. Isn't that crazy? It's gone by so quickly. I'm honestly just still blown away that you guys are all here and how many people are here like I can't thank you guys enough Ugh. it's it's really overwhelming but in such a good way all right let's see add another one of these little balconies if I he doesn't like to let me grab that fence though so we'll just draw it out on our own it's fine My mouse has been like acting up a lot lately. I think maybe it's starting to die. It's a wireless mouse and it's just, it'll double click things. It'll click off of things. It's, I don't know what's happening with it, but something is. I can't believe it's been an hour and a half, right? I was watching the Netflix show you when I saw the YouTube notification. Are you watching season two? I watched that all in like a day and I was like, oh my God, I need season three right now. And um, I'm very excited about it. Sorry, that was a little over the top. <laughs> this win this room has so many windows. I think that looks pretty. I love the name Squish Squad. <laughs> Where is that coming in? The Squish Squad is just happy to hang out with you, honestly. Aww. You're my favorite Sims tuber. Love the content. Happy to see you on Twitch. Oh, thank you so much. Glad you could be here. Uh, somebody gifted it some. Wait, oh, that was a sub gift? That's what that was? Wait, where? Did I miss something? Um, there's some places that are missing the foundation. Yeah, I'm going to fix that. That happens as you add rooms and stuff. All right. I think we need one of these big fancy windows right in the front of the house. I'm really liking how this is coming out. Uh, people who gift subs are angels. Yes, they're so sweet. Uh, when did you decide to really get into building or have you always been into it? I've always really, really liked building in The Sims. Uh, I probably got super into it around like the end of Sims 3. That's so sweet. 
All right. I don't know what else to add to this. I kind of want to do what I did before if I can. I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to be too big. Yeah, it's going to be too big. I think. Yeah, it's not going to work out. Because sometimes you can kind of line it up with the peak. It's because it's on a diagonal, but I can't to make it drag out and not look so awkward just being there. But that's okay. It's fine the way it is. This song is one of my favorites. Uh, can you do another stream if you're furnishing it, if you don't have time? Uh, no, I'm probably going to finish furnishing it tonight on my own, and I should be posting this as a speed build on the channel tomorrow. <laughs> this build is looking really good. Wish I had the amount of talent when it comes to building in The Sims. Oh, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, had to AFK to take lunch. Oh, thank you so much for the bits, Nicole. Really, really appreciate that. Never required, guys. Like, it's so incredibly nice when anyone does anything like that. Thank you very much. I literally downloaded Twitch today because you said that you might be streaming again, and I love some of the emote things like this one. Yeah, there's some really cute emotes on here. Um, what's it? But. <laughs> Stop it with the bits! Thank you so much! You're so sweet! Oh my goodness. It's already 11.26. I just woke up an hour ago <laughs> when the stream started. It's 2.27 for me. Uh, I built a house the other day and I'm so proud of it. That's awesome. All right. What else should we add to this? Can we add some of these? Ooh, we can add some fancy stuff. Okay. I got a little excited by that. I think something like that could look nice there. Add a little bit more uh, dimension to this. Ooh, that would actually look good middle of this as well. Instead of the dividers I had going. I don't think, I think maybe right there. Do I want it connected in that area? I mean, I could. Oh, I did not want it there. That was an accident. Oh my gosh, I can't stop doing that. Um, I live in New England, actually. It's like the northeastern section of the United States over by New York. Um, I've been sick the past few days and was building a witchy spellcaster house yesterday, but I had to stop because I was feeling so yucky. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Um, but spellcaster houses are really fun. Uh, small houses are much more my forte. Oh, me too. Um, hi, I've never caught a stream before. Yeah, I haven't streamed in like a year and a half. So uh, it's been kind of hard to catch one. But glad you are here. All right. What else should I add to this? I guess we'll put this all the way around. I or most of the way around. I think it looks pretty nice. It just adds a little bit more detail to the build. Yeah, that looks cute. Still like the back better, but that's fine. Still trying to decide what I think of this whole area up here. Like if I even want that or if I want to add to it and make there be more upstairs. Um, I'm hooked right now on the island living pack. I actually just did an island living build that I have a lot of editing to do on before I can release it, but I love how it came out. So I'm really excited to share that one. Island living is such a fun pack to build with. I know a lot of people don't like the amount of gameplay with it and I, I completely agree on that, but the building assets in the world, it is gorgeous there. I love it so much. Sulani is beautiful. I love landscaping. I'm not that great at building or furnishing, but I have fun doing it. Yeah, it's really fun. That's just the best thing to do with it is if you're enjoying doing it, keep going. Um, I feel like 
I have no idea what else I'd like to do shape wise and window wise like how do I fix this area I don't think I like this window up here I like the idea of it but I don't really like it hmm can you do a building tips type video like how to add the dormers or what they're even called and turn them into rooms um I'm not exactly sure what you mean, like what specific things. I know there's lots of tutorials for that type of thing on YouTube. I would recommend uh, Kate Emerald. She does some really, really cool building tutorials. I have some more basic stuff. Like I have like a roofing tutorial and landscaping and floor plans and I think debug and clutter and stuff like that. So um, I have some of those things, but there are um, lots of other talented people out there that do much better tutorials than I do. Yay, the Santa Nana emote. You guys have no idea what that is. I'm going to have to update emotes. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Simmerkey has also done some really good building tutorials. She's super sweet. I've met her a couple or one time. I wanted to say a couple of times. I've met her before. She's sweet. Um, but yeah, so the Santa Nana emote. Most of you guys have no idea who he is, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, you might recognize him from the game, but his name is. Yeah, anyway. We'll, we'll update those emotes. So it sounds like we want some like, um, what's it called? Some like animal emotes, which we can do some squish emotes. Uh, well, Simsy just did a tutorial on her channel. Oh, th that might be a good resource for you. Nice. I like this plant, but I feel like it just doesn't match this house, but it's so pretty. I just want to use it. Um, I think maybe some more of these like really sculptured bushes make more sense here. Like I've never used this bush before, but I feel like this might be the house for it. I mean, look at these bushes over here. I think this is the, the house for these weird bushes and trees. I think it's time to use this. It's so weird looking, but I kind of love it. I was there for that stream. You were there for the Sananana stream? <laughs> uh, oh gosh. That was such a long time ago. Frame this with some of these, maybe. I don't like how that looks. I have no idea what I want to do with these. Hmm. I feel like I want to line it, but I don't know with what, because I feel like it should be bushes. But it looks kind of weird. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I just, we need to fill in this area cause that can't be the same. How about the elephant bush? Ooh, maybe the elephant bush. That could be an idea. Uh, I came late, so I have no idea what the build is supposed to be. Uh, it's like a, like a mansion, sort of inspired by the 1920s that we're gonna decorate for New Year's Eve. Um, a fountain to balance out the negative space in the yard. We could do that. I'm going to get some tea. I'll send you all some virtual nice warm tea vibes. Oh, thank you. It's really, really good so far. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it yet. So I'm glad somebody likes it. Let's just add some of these around here. And I'll probably get rid of a couple over here so we can have a like pathway leading to the back staircase. I think that's what we're gonna do. The same. Hmm. Hmm. Something like this, but a little curvier. Yeah, something like that I think works. 
Uh, we post this on your channel as a speed build. I'm planning to. There are uh, parts of it that I forgot to record, so there is some missing footage because I was distracted by the stream. Uh, but I'm planning to, yes. Thank you so much for the bits, Molly Gryffindor. Thank you very much. Sure, Tanya, blame it on us, why don't ya? I just did. Uh, <laughs> um, but like the beginning of the shell, I don't have. I'm actually gonna peek real quick at what I do have um, and see where it starts. That is my face that popped up on my screen. Oh yeah, I have quite a bit of the shell outside already when I start. So that's fun, but that's okay. We got a majority of it after that, so it should be fine. First time doing this, so 100 points for Gryffindor, <laughs> yes. Um, if there's one thing I hate to do in building, it's the landscaping, really. I think landscaping is really fun, quite enjoy it. I just saved, but. I get paranoid that I didn't save and I save again. Um, was watching the master at work in real time. So glad I can make it to this stream. Welcome back, Tanya. The master. I don't know about that, but thank you so much. Uh, any plans for New Year's? I'll probably just be playing The Sims, to be honest. I'm going to just play video games and card games and hang at home with my boyfriend. Nothing too crazy. Maybe a little window bay type thing on the rectangle bit at the front over here. I like that idea. I'm going to do that. I like that idea a lot. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put over here. Um, I have a bush inside of the foundation and I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I love this song. Yeah, missing the exterior shouldn't be too bad considering, and it's not the whole exterior, it's, it's part of it. But yeah, it's probably going to be a pretty long build. Hopefully I can finish it tonight, because I think it'd be really cool to post this for tomorrow. This song is the epitome of my Sims 2 memories, yes. I'm liking the front. Actually, I have like the Sims 2 soundtrack playing. Let me see how far along it is. Okay, we're only, oh my gosh, it's three and a half hours. We are plenty good. Plenty, cool. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. All right. New Year's Eve is my birthday. Can you sneak a cake on the counter uh, in the build? Maybe. Uh, happy early birthday. For my October Squish Tour entry, I went all out with landscaping and loved it, uh, but just no time. so time consuming and important. And I'm impatient, yeah. I'm loving this build more and more. It's such an awesome shape. Thank you so much. Oh. All right, before I stop forget to start recording again. Let's do that. I don't know what windows to put up here. Love this song. 
Um, all right. We need some kind of windows up here. I feel like I don't want to put the same windows everywhere, but I also don't know which other windows to put up there. Um, cause the only different one we have in the back is this. I guess we could put a door in the front instead of that window to change it up. And also that makes a little bit more sense for coming outside. Aw, that song ended. The best song. Is that too much over there? It might be, but I think I'm gonna keep it for now. And, hmm. Can I? Thank you so much for the bits! Oh, there it is. I was like, where did it go? <laughs> Thank you so much. I oh, love your builds, girl. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Everyone's so sweet. Um, I'm thinking maybe this lovely contraption, potentially. It's so over the top. I think that's why I want to do it. It's too much in the best possible way. <laughs> Hmm, I kind of agree. Oh my gosh, I keep hiccuping. Tanya's the sweetest girl, deserves all the love and support. Oh, you're so sweet. I think we need the door again up here for this balcony. There's so many balconies. Oh, it doesn't center. That's disappointing. Can I just put a window next to it? That looks kind of weird. But I think we're gonna just have to go for it. Let it be. Hmm. Although, wait, I think we have a three wide door as well, don't we? Get famous. We do. We'll do that. Just like this random balcony gets this grand entrance. Oh, we didn't even do the front entrance yet. We just have this. So let's actually move this inward. And I think we should be able to fit the giant door in here that we just used. Oh, it's not gonna center either. That's frustrating. Mm. Oh, I can have two of them. Is that, I mean, this house is super over the top. We can have two front doors, right? We're gonna do it. Two front doors it is. I like Sonia too, or Sonia. Is there even a front door? No, but now there is. We have two front doors because we're just that extra. I kind of love that. It's just, it's a lot. And I like that it's a lot. My kitten Weasley just joined me and is super intrigued by the stream. Hi Weasley! Oh, kittens. Uh, over in my Discord server, we have a, um, a channel that is just to share cute pet pictures like if you're not already over there we should totally join our discord hopefully i can have chrissy plop that in chat hopefully that would be super appreciated um i would love to see cute animal pictures i feel like nobody's posted over there in a while but oh i actually just opened it now and i see kitties uh oh man yes all right uh there it is go guys Go join the Discord. I'd love to have you guys over there. I'm trying to be more active on there lately. I feel like the last couple of weeks I've been slacking on everything. I've been super MIA, but working on it and I love hanging out over there. It's so much fun. Just chatting with everybody. And uh, my favorite part is definitely the cute pet pictures because it's a place you can share your own pet pictures and you also get to go see cute ones. I mean, that's a win-win in my opinion. So highly recommend her camera skills are everything I'd give anything a major headache with my crazy jerking camera movements uh, this doesn't give you a headache <laughs> oh my gosh with the bits again thank you so much thank you so much Lynn so sweet out okay. I feel like I should start 
maybe thinking about a floor plan, even though the outside's not done. Hello, all you Squish fans. We're doing the opposite of a Squish right now. Um, yeah, everyone's been kind of MIA at this time of year. You are right. Oh boy. This is gonna be an interesting floor plan. It's such a big house. I'm realizing how hungry I am. I think after the stream, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I have no idea what. There's like nothing in my house. It's the opposite of a squish, it's a squash. <laughs> Thank you for the 45 bits, Nicole. Really appreciate it. Eh, I can't talk. I'm like, you guys are experiencing the too excited and overwhelmed to speak properly. <laughs> um, the amount of times I do voiceovers and I have to stop and I, because I get tongue tied and then instead of just stopping right there and restarting, I'll get tongue tied and then go <laughs> into the, yeah, just like that. Uh, I have a lot of clips of that just hanging around my computer. Uh, <laughs> I get so tongue-tied so easily. Um, I got worried something would happen if I sent those bits. What do you mean? All right, let's... I mean, it's a big build, but I feel like it's not as big as I thought it was going to be, which is good. We can easily make this like quite a few bedrooms. Downstairs will just be very spacious. We could probably have a bedroom downstairs. There can be a separate bar in addition to like a um, dining room, kitchen, all that stuff. We can have like a bar room, which would be perfect for parties. We can have like a, a lot of entertaining space in this house. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the size of that. I don't think that'll be too overwhelming. Oh, I didn't finish deleting walls over here. Love all the animal pictures on Discord, yes. Uh, I tapped the send one bit option 45 times. Oh, <laughs> which makes sense for a New York, uh, not New York. I read that as New York instead of New Year's. New Year's Eve build, a ballroom. We might do a ballroom. I'm not really sure what the plan is yet um, because I think the interior is not going to be happening on this stream because I'm probably ending around two hours and it's been an hour and 45 minutes. If you search on the gallery, no CC paintings, they have some garages that look so cute. Am I missing something? I'm kind of confused, especially if people want to place it on the Von Hanna estate lot and have some events here in game. Definitely. Sorry left. I was sending a picture of my dog to discord. Okay. I'm going to look, I'm going to look. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. There's a couple of doggies on here now. Oh, they're both very, very cute. I love that they have similar patterns. So cute. Uh, what's your dog's name? Wait, you can't look at dog pictures and not show us. <laughs> Go join the Discord! They're in the server! You guys can just pop into the cute animal pictures uh, channel and post your own pictures. Look at all the other pictures. That Go check them out. They're very cute. I also post pictures of my animals in there from time to time. I'll probably be doing some of that a little bit later. See, Ch Chrissy just shared the Discord link. Go join. Go check out the cute pups. Oh my god, the dogs are so cute! Oh, Edgar is such a cute name! Oh, yeah, I can steal Santa Nana, an old friend of mine. Oh, the garage door if you like them. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought I was missing something. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? Uh, cool. All right, I think we're going to grab some cars for outside from the debug menu for this lovely driveway we just created earlier. Also, in the future, I plan on, I don't know if this stream will be because I forgot to click record in the beginning. Um, if I can just grab it off Twitch and none of it's muted, hopefully, I can re-upload this to my second channel. I'm planning on, like, uploading streams over there 
um because i know personally when i rewatch streams i like to do it on youtube so i'm planning to do that but this stream might not be up there depending on if i can grab it without it being muted off of twitch so <laughs> we'll see but future ones should be all good i kind of want the black version of this car but i'm not seeing it here it's somewhere else where is it i just want the car I just went to car. Where are you? Not seeing it. Ooh, the perfect build for the limousine. Oh, <gasps> I forgot we had a limousine. I'm going to look that up. Is, did that come with Get Famous technically? Or I don't know where that would be. Um, how are your fur babies? Did the dog have a great Christmas with you? He is such a sweet boy. He did. He was so spoiled. Overwhelmed for sure. The limo, the limo Weasley is in Discord now. Oh my gosh, Weasley the kitten, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, he's so cute and fluffy. Oh. Um, I didn't think streams that use Sims 2 music get muted at all, but since I know Kayla uploads all of hers and she always plays the Sims 2 soundtrack. Yeah. I think she might be recording the streams too, not just grabbing them off Twitch, but I'm not sure. Um, but I guess we'll find out. So it might be from Get Famous. So I'm gonna I'm gonna filter by Get Famous and see if the limo is in here. Cause it might have been in the game before. I'm not really sure. Because there's a lot of stuff you would think wouldn't be in the game to begin with. And they come with random packs. Like also, like, why is Get Famous the one that gave us solar panels? I'm not really sure. Very happy we have them, but I wasn't expecting them to be with Get Famous. Um, let's see. Also, if I'm scrolling past something and you're like, it's right there, please tell me in chat. Oh, that's adorable. Hi, Weasley. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. I don't see the limousine. I feel like this song is super nostalgic for me. Have I scrolled past it or is it just not in here? Can I search by limo? No, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> Worth a try. Some of the debug items have names and you can search them and other ones are all just debug. Not in there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do we want to use this anywhere on the build though? Because it matches. Is there anywhere this would look good? Probably not. I mean, maybe right there. I'm going to plop it there for now. We can always change our mind later. That's fine. All right. Let's just go through debug. Uh, <laughs> never mind for searching it in debug. Yeah. We're just gonna casually look through this together and spend a very long time doing so. I'm gonna stop recording for a second so I don't have as much to edit out looking for this. We just want a limousine. Is that a possibility? Because that makes so much sense for this build. I love that idea. And I wouldn't have thought of that. So I really appreciate the suggestions. I need ideas for what to do for like a late lunch. I am so hungry. I had my cute cat on Discord. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to look at all these pet pictures in a little bit. Is this the one we were thinking? I feel like there was an all black one, but this one's nice. So I'm gonna plop this one here. And that's from base game. Where's the Discord link? I think I lost it. Can that get posted in there again, please, Chrissy? Thank you so very much. Uh, tacos, I'm actually not a taco person. So I don't think I'm gonna get tacos because I probably wouldn't eat them. But I don't know what I want. Thank you for sharing that again, Chrissy. You're the best. 
give whatever your favorite emote is in the chat for Chrissy to be like, you're the best mod. Because <laughs> she, she's fantastic. I just want to dance to this. Soup is great in the cold. Oh, maybe. Falafel. You're so pretty. Oh my god. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um... Maybe some of these things would look nice. I can kind of frame the pathway here. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Ooh, what if like we had like it like continuing to frame the pathway like along here? Like all the way down. Is that a little too much or are we on board for the fact that this whole build is a little bit too much? <gasps> we could put the toddler string lights going through this whole pathway and make it look super pretty. Kind of romantic, nice for parties. I like that idea. Korean barbecue. Um, <laughs> Marmite sandwiches, oh boy. If we're going all out, why don't we just go all out? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. We're just, we're going for it. Going for it, going for it. I never use this stuff from Get Famous, so we're just making this as something as it can be. I think I might do this and maybe I'll expand this into a bigger area, not just a little walkway like that. like that it's so obnoxious but I think I like that about it yes go for it on board with the lights uh <laughs> Tanya has now made us collectively hungry by making us think about food sorry about that all right let's get the toddler lights and see if we can string them along and make them look nice want me to intersect them but I'm gonna make it happen well maybe I have to maybe we'll make them the distance of the lights that's kind of cool See how that looks at night. That's kind of pretty. Uh, if you're feeling the 1920s, what about Hoover's stew? Um, I don't know what that means. Were you born in America? Yes, I was. I use them all the time. So pretty. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I just ate two hours ago and now I'm hungry again. You're gonna get me some ice cream. Just had dinner, but got hungry. I can't wait to see the interior on YouTube. Hopefully I can finish it tonight. I have so many things I want to work on, so we shall see. Oh, that's not connected. I can get behind the lights. I'm on a soft food only diet because I'm having some jaw issues. Oh, that's not good. Hi, Ra Ra, welcome to the stream. Go, 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 go. 
This is gonna take forever. I think it's gonna look pretty cute though. Watch me just decide afterwards, like after the stream's over, then I'm like, I didn't like how it looked. So I got rid of it after I spend this long working on it. I do that kind of thing all the time. gonna be such a cute path though uh hover stew is basically hot dogs and mac and cheese oh okay let's save those again we're getting close to that two hour mark when i said i was probably gonna end the stream though so i think we're gonna be doing that here shortly so i should probably start looking around for somebody to raid i haven't I haven't raided somebody in a year and a half because I haven't streamed in a year and a half. So we should see who is live. Um, and then I can see if I can remember how to do any of that because I don't remember how to do anything on Twitch. So that'll be fun. All right. Um, let's see who's live. Hopefully something doesn't start playing all of a sudden. For you guys because it might you might start hearing random stuff um oh simurky is live we might have to do that yeah oh you guys are telling me the same thing right now oh man uh she's playing stardew though okay mm, let's see because i don't know if everyone likes stardew or not i personally don't play stardew uh, who else, who's playing Sims right now? I need some Simmers to raid. So we can go say hello and uh, share some love and still enjoy some Sims. Uh, Rory is playing, playing the Sims. It looks like she's doing the Snow White ABC challenge. I believe, I'm, I'm gonna click on it. We might hear her for a second, hold on. See if I can mute it quick enough. Yeah, she's playing The Sims. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna raid Rory. Yeah, okay. I haven't done this in a very long time. So let's see if I can accurately do this. So we're gonna head on over to Rory Plays channel. Make sure you say hello, tell her that Tanya sent you and uh, let's just go give her some love and see what she is up to. Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Please stick around uh, and head over to this raid. Uh, and I will post the next time I plan on being live over on my Twitter page, probably on YouTube as well. And until next time, thank you guys so much. We're gonna go ahead and raid Rory. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay. Bye everybody.